And fear is not really negative. Fear is a sign that you're being called to level up. Fear is a sign that you're being called to get out of your comfort zone, that the opportunities are there on that other side of fear. Now, that's what we use when we're handling objections, not just in selling, but in handling objections, you have to know how to navigate those emotions at first. And that's what I teach in my course. So, tuloy tayo. Sa T, U is understand, right? Okay, now I yes. know. Saan siya nanggagaling? Saan nanggagaling? Is it complaint or objection? Marami pang ano yun, eh, factors. A, a T is thank. So, when you thank someone, it actually puts the resistance down. Nag-thank you ka eh. Oh, thank you for bringing that up. Or thank you for asking that. Parang nawawala yung defensiveness sa'yo. Kasi ang ina-expect yeah. ng kalaban mo, i-disarm mo siya. Kasi expect niya mag-object ka rin or lalaban ka. Magiging yeah. defensive ka. Pero pag nag-thank you ka, it's like you're disarming your opponent. Di naman opponent yung customers natin, but it's just a analogy that I use. So, you, you break down their walls and then A is ask. Ask them. Okay? So, ma'am, bakit po, ano po yung problema? Ano po yung concern? Ano yung sa tingin nyo na what's stopping you from buying this? Kasi I can see na you really want it. Do you really want this product? Do you think it can help you with your life? What's stopping you? Ano po yung concern? So, just be genuinely curious. Bakit nga ba? Right? Ask them. And then end is, yun na yung, um, now, let's talk about you. Okay, so meron ako importanteng nakuhang principle ni Sir Armand kanina habang nag-chat kami. The word seduction is spelled U before I. Diba? S-D-U-C-T-I-O-N. Nauuna yung U before I. Palaging ang pag-uusapan, you, the client, the customer, before I. Before yung need ko to sell, yung need ko to earn, to make money, to make my daily quota, I will find out everything about you. I will, you know, mamaya sabihin ko, how do you find out about people? But I w- now let's talk about you. All right, so you mentioned kanina that this product you think is actually something that will help you in the future. So palalimin mo ngayon yun. Everything about them na what are their needs. So dito na papasok yung seduction na find out more of their unmet needs. Kasi an objection is actually an opportunity. It's the, the 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 reason why people have objections is because you are not able to fully show them the value for them. All they see is you earning something from them, getting something from their wallet. Pero hindi mo na ipakita yung full value, what's in it for them. So W I W double I T M W double I F M pala. What's in it for them? That's my ra- favorite radio station. WWIFM. <laughs> what's in it for them? Or you before I. Kailangan mo ipakita mo sa kanila what's the value for them. Mas less yung objection. Kasi sila na magko-convince sa sarili nila Sir Armand eh. When right, they see right. the value, hindi na nila kailangan tumawad. Hindi na nila kailangan magsabing mahal yan. They would just say, I want that take my money or I want to work with you like what my clients my students are experiencing even sabihin nilang I cannot work with you because I'm not a perfect fit kasi iba yung hinahanap mo but there might be a way that I can still work with you yung clients na yung mahabol sa students ko <laughs> because they're such an expert in navigating these emotions and you know handling these objections that they can just um, their their value shines through not their product not their service but them their value and what they can give these people. So the letter G, the last one is guarantee. Okay. So one of the reasons people have objections, they do not want to part with their hard-earned money. Lalo na nga yung pandemic, sir. Napakahirap ko vita. Ang hirap gumastos. Kasi walang katiyakan lahat ng trabaho natin, right? In a, in a click of a finger, you can lose your job like that. Or you can get sick and the hospital bills, oh my gosh, right? So lahat ng tao is so tight on their money. But if you can give them a letter G from the utang, which is a guarantee that it's risk-free or there's low risk in doing this, right? Like um, an insurance agent told me na, 
um, you can think about it. Like you, w- once you make the initial deposit, you have 15 days to think about it. And if you feel that this is not for you, you can tell me and I can refund your money. That was a good guarantee for me. So, kasi ang, ang nangyayari kasi feeling ko minsan napapressure ako. Kasi they're so good in closing na, okay, para magbabayad na ako ngayon. Pero may buyer's remorse afterwards. Minsan yan, di ba? So, giving me that 15-day guarantee now lessens my risk. Di ba? Mitigate their risk. Parang hahagurin mo yung takot nila na okay lang yan. Hindi, hindi mo wala ang pera mo. <laughs> so, yun po yung utang. Understand, thing, ask. Now, let's talk about you. And then G is the guarantee. I talk about that further in my lessons, of course, and my group. Miss Saraya, uh, bago tayo kapusin ng oras, uh, ako tingin ko kasi yan ang namamayani ngayon. Eh, diba? Takot, pangamba, uh, whether because of the uh, pandemic, obviously, or because of what's next, uh, what's in store for us tomorrow, or kumukuha pa lang ako ng uh, freelancing job o meron pa lang akong iaalok ang dami ko ng takot how do you address fear uh, uh, para sa huli natin kasi hindi ho natin ang dami ho matututunan dito kay Saraya gusto ko mamaya mabigyan ng oras kung saan siya where we can find her where we can follow her pero last topic uh, Saraya fear what can you say yeah, about yeah. fear so as yung sinabi kanina ni Sir Arman, that was a video I did on my YouTube channel where I, I talk about fear and doubt and how it cripples most of us into achieving our goals, not just you know money goals, but anything in general. Fear of approaching that person that you like, fear of taking that new opportunity, fear of um, pursuing your passion, whatever fear that is. Opportunities lie on the other side of fear. And the way I see fear is what I learned from my mentors is also when you feel fear, so any emotion that you're feeling, whether it's negative or positive, especially those negative emotions, they're actually a sign. And fear is not really negative. Fear is a sign that you're being called to level up. Fear is a sign that you're being called to get out of your comfort zone, that the opportunities are there on that other side of fear. Because, Sir Armand, this is how our minds work. So, i out lang ako on neuroscience para mas maintindihan natin why nagkakaroon ng fear. So, we have this thing called limbic, uh, the limbic system or yung part ng brain natin which is the fight, flight, or freeze response. And I'm sure most of you have heard this. So, nung unang panahon yung mga cavemen, uh, wala pang language noon, but we already have that, ganun na siya katagal yung, yung limbic part ng brain or what we call the lizard brain, the reptile, reptilian brain. So, whenever we are faced with a threat, we either fight it. Ang threat noon, for example, saber-toothed tiger. We either fight it we either fl- yung flight is running away from it or we either freeze we just become paralyzed and we don't know what to we get eaten by the tiger na right so yes. that limbic brain is not you know is not logical but it's just designed to protect us from any threat in our environment now as time evolved wala nang saber tooth tigers wala nang other cavemen trying to kill us for food but the threats have evolved as well Yung threats may be in the form of being afraid na mapahiya, being afraid na ma-reject, being afraid na hindi mo ma-meet yung expectations ni client or ng family mo. It can be a host of all other traumas and, and limiting beliefs and doubts that you have in your mind, but our mind, our brain cannot perceive the difference of the, the real threat to our lives, which is the saber-toothed tiger, any life-threatening um, thing, or the threat that we perceive in our minds na mapapahiya ako or you know para uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same yeah. kind of feeling and chemicals that are parang um, processed in our brain that's why akala natin fear yung fear na yun is real okay so number one you have to identify where that fear came from okay so saan ba galing yung fear na yun if I have a fear of rejection was there a part in my life when I was young that napinagtawanan ako and I just felt, you know, mula nun, ayoko na, I don't wanna show up anymore, I don't wanna perform, or I don't wanna apply anymore kasi napahiya ako. Maybe it came from that. And then number two, you ask yourself, is this fear something I want to hold on to? Is this fear actually doing me any good? Is this fear actually helping me achieve my goals? If the answer is no, then you have to commit. That's step three. Commit to now changing that. Okay, to changing that story 
because all of those fears are actually just stories in our head and sometimes they were true in the past but now wala na yun eh wala na yung classmate mong bully wala na yung magulang mo na palaging sinasabihan kang failure ka wala na yung mga namahiya sa iyo you are a different person now and you have to know how to overcome that but sometimes it takes someone to pull you out sometimes you don't know how to do that so i've had mentors um, who help me with that some have deeper kinds of fear and you need therapists for that walang shame in asking for help if it's a fear that is crippling you for years and that's a really real fear the bad that's a trauma you need a therapist for that but in my coaching in my programs i have a very huge part of that is about just tackling limiting beliefs overcoming fear and doubts kasi coach uh, sir arman i believe no matter what strategies i teach you on getting clients online if you still have that same mindset that got you into that position you won't ever get out hanggang na diyan yung fear na yan so okay. Okay. um the way to, to to get over that fear is to really commit and decide na i want to overcome this and you know get help if you can't do it yourself And that's also what I offer in my coaching. It's not just a client getting course, but I help you identify what's blocking you, what's stopping you. And then I help you uncover what your real superpowers are. Baka naman kasi kaya ka afraid. Hindi talaga para sa yon. Like 'di ba yung sa akin, yung garments noon. Ayoko talaga siya. Ikaw <laughs> talaga yeah, yeah, yeah. like ko. And lastly, yeah. Sir Arman, I just want to say the only antidote to fear is just get it done. Just do it. So, like I Just mentioned, do. opportunities lie on the other side of fear. The best things happen on the other side of fear. The best things in my life happened when I just went ahead and did it, even if I was afraid. I was afraid of leaving that comfortable uh, freelancing gig, okay? Because it paid me a lot. And ako lang, sarili ko lang inintindi ko. I didn't know where coaching would take me. But when I went on that other side and faced that fear, out of the desire to just help and then bahala na, A lot of opportunities opened up for me, and I'm so thankful that I'm doing this now. So just do it, guys, and then get someone to help you. Get a mentor, get a support system. And getting help, system. getting help is yan, ayan, Saraya, ordinaryo. Uh, <laughs> ito yung ano, no? Ito yung uh, Facebook page, tama ba? Or group? Yeah, group. that's Facebook my group. free group. That's my free okay. group where you can actually find a lot of free lessons that I give, not just. You know, if you're not, if you're an entrepreneur, an agency owner, you're kahit ano, basta nagkakausap ka ng clients, you can apply those lessons. So, daming free lessons dyan, daming interviews with my students na nagkaroon na ng resulta. You can find it all there. How to apply on online jobs. Ang dami nagka-question kanina, how do I get an online yeah. job? What, ano yung mga yeah. in-demand? Ang dyan, ang dami dyan, resources. And then, eh, ito Arman, naman, uh, Coach Shalaya. Ah, yes, sir. Et, et, ito naman, tong, tong AOS Marketing. That's my Facebook page. Um, Jan yung makikita yung next events ko, and then yung yun sa reviews you will see what my students and my mentees say. And then I have a link here if you want to join my email list. Kasi for my email list, dun ako naga update kung kailan yung next courses, programs. So if okay. you are an insurance agent or a real estate agent, I do have a special course for that. Okay, Wonderful. so. Oh, I have a special course for that, pero hindi pa siya out. Yung course ko ngayon kasi is more geared towards freelancers, yung mga nag online jobs. Pero if you're an insurance agent or a real estate agent, medyo iba yung needs nyan. So I'm actually creating a course already for that. So if you join um the, my email list on that link, um yun, mak- makikita nyo dun sa email, ano yung mga updates ko about that, and ano yung mga latest. And of course, are you on YouTube? Hello. Yung YouTube, mag-subscribe po tayo lahat yeah. dyan, ha? Lahat dito sa Feasibilities, <laughs> sa CBRC.TV. Ha? Hanapin yes. ko lang, Seduction Marketing. Opo, Kapag seduction nakita marketing. niya yung very, very seductive homepage na yan, yan na po yung uh, YouTube channel ni Saraya. One mindset Dino. naman po. So, sa group ko is strategy. Sa YouTube is the mindset. So, I talked about fear a while ago. I talk about that in depth sa YouTube channel ko. Kasi we have limited time here. So, yun lang. Patikim mo lang makibigay ko, Sir Patikim, Arman. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Saraya, Ordinario, thank you very much. Uh, as I said, uh, enrollee. Enrollee kami. Enrollee kami. Uh, tapos, uh, pag-usapan pa natin o pag-usapan ko pa sa Feasibilities Facebook page all about seduction marketing by... Uh, Saraya Ordinario. And uh, thank you. Thank you again, uh, uh, Saraya. 
uh, sana there will be another opportunity para to discuss a specific topic uh, in the future sure. for Feasibility CBRC.tv. Let me okay? know because I'd be glad to help your group. Thank you so All much right. for inviting thank me. Thank you, thank you. And our fifth set of keywords. Fifth set of keywords. Huh? Um, fifth set of keywords natin. Oh, utang. Sabi sa inyo, hindi masama ang utang eh. Ha? Huh? Okay, so thank you very much. Yan po si Saraya Ordinario, Seductive Marketing. Arman Benko, every Mondays, 7 p.m. Peace Abilities in CBRC.tv. Bye!